Okay, so here's the puppies outside. Once again, this is the second of my videos because the first awesome video, I did not have it turned on again. I swear I am absolutely having some kind of like chronic fatigue or something weird going on. But anyway, uh, there we had to make some changes this year. We still have our outdoor run on the back covered porch, but this is the front covered porch where it's actually cooler, except for now it's warm because we're right in the sun, which is why I brought them out here today because I'm still work in progress on the back porch, but that's where it was really warm out there this morning, even though it's only supposed to be 62 or something today. And now here in the sun, it's probably 65 and you could tell they're not cold, but um, they're loving it. They're obviously, they didn't even take, miss a beat. I think one of them whimpered for about two seconds when they were out here alone, but they're loving it. And um, I was telling everybody that I put some paint on them to now tell them apart. There's Clover with his little green and uh, BB Smallers and Lotus. I can tell, like Lexi said, because that little bite mark on his nose, which will hopefully heal in because poor Lotus, he's like so big, like a little gentle giant. He gets the worst of it from everybody, I think. He's got like no fighting instinct, which is awesome um, that I can tell. I mean, he will fire up once in a while, which I don't love, but you know, they are the breed. You can't ignore it. It's just they're the scrappers, but these guys are worse than most that I've had. You hear them really making some loud wails, uh, and uh, I have to watch them to make sure we don't get any ear issues. And there we have little T with BB. She's a scrapper for sure. And Cosmo, he's pretty gentle and mild. And then, um, you know, again, these are all traits that they they trade off. So no, never have I seen like any puppies raised from here with extreme temperaments one way or another. And that's what's awesome is the consistency but uh anyway yeah so tomorrow we'll go out in the other covered porch area but this is a real nice alternative this i wanted to do an artificial turf but it was like a thousand dollars for a small area and also my husband pointed out that aesthetically it isn't the greatest thing because we have a real natural area here and that looked kind of more like suburban or whatever but i think you just didn't want to spend a thousand dollars but anyway so this is compromise this is good artificial turf and it it also, I think it feels a little more sanitary because we really did have a ton of rain and mud and everything this year. So this is going to be their grass experience, even though it's not real grass. And then uh, they'll obviously pee everywhere here and I'll have to hose it down and clean it up, the poops and all. But um, oh, look at, look at little Kazi. He, he playing and who's getting him? That's Goldie, I think. Yeah, Goldie. I put a faint, faint yellow on her, which I can't really see, but I figured out she has a little more black underneath her, which originally I thought was the case for Honey. And it may have been, but now I know Honey because she has the more white feet. So there they are, but they're very hard to tell apart. And that actually is little tiny tiger there, which I might have just mistaken him for Goldie. There goes Goldie, checking it out. And, uh, I, there's my little Sonny right there. He looks a lot like Goldie and Honey, too. What is he into? Hi, Sonny. What you into, little man? But he's got a little blue dot on him for blue skies, Sonny, because I figured a red dot wouldn't show up well, and certainly the yellow one on Goldie didn't. But, uh, oh, look, there goes Clover. That guy's mixing it up big time with Goldie. Um, Clover, open, right in over on the action. Is that, it's either Honey or Sonny. Uh, Sonny's pretty mellow, too. Most... Thank God, because like when these guys were way more fiery than the other ones I've had. I mean, I had one litter like this. I don't remember. I don't think it was the love litter. I was reflecting that they were very loving to, and living up to their name. Thank God, because there were six boys there. Um, so hi, everybody. They love that leftover. I've been making a little extra for Tiny T, because even though he is completely healthy and seems exactly strong and vigorous like everybody else he is smaller so he's been loving the extra calorie thing and he likes look at him he likes to go in and eat early too hi guys no lee he's up there oh is my lotus firing up it is look at him i was just talking about you not doing hi kazi oh kazi and look at this um this is good though for them to be out here just to get the fresh air and i think it's healthy for them um, and obviously I was worried about them being too cold, but they're not. The front porch is going to be way warmer. And I think the video quality will be better because it's all in the sun, uh, which is good. Uh, and it keeps them nice and warm. In fact, I end up having to put shade things. That's one kind of perk for this time of year. I won't have to do the shade things that I usually do. They'll love it. I don't think it'll ever get too hot for them. And I can put some crates out there with a little bit of a shade thing on the side. I do worry about the uh, wire crate, but we'll never leave them out here when we're gone or anything. Uh, they're just going to be out here 
temporary. So anyway, here's the puppies outside. Let me give everybody one more shot of who's who. Kazi, Clover, because I thank God now I know because he's got a sight. Sunny, and Sunny, I can't really see his little spot, but he's still got a tiny hair of white. And there's Goldie because she's got the less white paw, but now she's caught up completely to honey and weight. They're almost identical, so I can't tell them apart. That must be, has to be T because I don't see the white paws yet. And there's Honey going at it with BB, who's also a little scrapper. And uh, I think that's, yeah, that's her. Or is that Clover now? Gosh dang, I don't see the, I should have put the marks. Yeah, that's BB. And uh, there's little Lotus, I, or big Lotus, I should say. Yeah, okay, good. There's everybody for you.